Hi traders and welcome to a new trading week. I hope you had a great weekend. Let's go through all the major pairs, see where they're sitting with respect to support and resistance levels and our wave count. The Euro USD on the daily chart, we are sitting above the 50 and the 200 EMA, getting some support for four days in a row now as the US dollar weakens against the Euro. We go into the four hour chart when we've really got a range bound market here with no specific wave formation, but we are sitting above the 200 EMA there as well. So if you're looking to get short on the Euro against the US dollar, I would suggest you'd want to see these lows down here broken. Um, and if we go back out to that daily chart, that would get us back underneath the 200 EMA. So that's where you'd want to be. If you were longing the Euro, well, perhaps a stop underneath the 200 EMA might be a safe place for you. Let's head into the US dollar against the yen, continuing with that downward trend. Look at this trend line here, keeping in play the US dollar to the downside. On the daily chart, we are below the 50 EMA. In on the four hour chart, we are well below the 50 and the 200 here in red and in fact we've nearly got the 50 crossing over the 200 even though that we've rallied up here what we've got here at the moment is a potential wave one wave two down for wave three although this oscillator low hasn't come down below this one here so at this stage um, i don't consider this to be the low of wave three but certainly the downtrend is still intact and the stair stepping formation that the US dollar is making against the yen is still to the downside. So if you're looking to take a long position on the US dollar, you certainly need to see some buyers, but I would want to see price above this 50. In fact, I'd want to see above this high here as well. And then we may get a trade back towards this 200 EMA here to the upside. We do have some divergence here on our indicator, but we don't have a lower low in price. So we actually don't have that divergence technically speaking. Yeah, Aussie dollar against the US dollar. Getting support last week, rallying for a few days out of the five, and we've got uh, the market sitting above the 50. We've got in the four hour chart, we come down into here, and at this stage, we are above the 200 EMA on the Aussie against the US dollar. We don't have the 50 above the 200, but the price is sitting above the 200. And right now, we have to assume that this high here on our oscillator is the high of wave number three. So up for wave one, down for two, up for wave number three, coming back for wave four, which would coincide with a hit of the 200 EMA and another potential move up. Now, if you read today's day go, oh, go, go daily fix, I'm getting my tongue tied, you'll see there's a link there to an, uh, an interview with Tony Sycamore from CBA, one of their top currency traders and he's looking to long the Aussie dollar against the US dollar so make sure you look at that interview from Friday's money exchange program. Obviously the Kiwi dollar and the Aussie a little bit lower against the US after Friday's oil slide and commodity slide. Oil was down 4%. At the moment the Kiwi dollar even though we've ducked under here on the 200, I want to tighten this up and I want to show you what's going on here. We've got a trend line here that's now been broken. That's now been broken for a few days now, and we're back under this 200. And as I said last week, if the Kiwi dollar got under here on the four hour chart and traded under these levels here where we are now, we could see a move back down to this low here of about 70. Uh, if we go into the daily chart and have a look there, on the daily chart, this is where it really becomes important that you're looking at these key levels because we're sitting right now on this 50 EMA. If you're looking to short the Kiwi dollar, what I'd be looking for is a close under on the daily of this 50 EMA and then we might get a move back towards this 200. And we talked about it last week. There is a very clearly defined trend line right here that is coming up through here. And if we get under here, we could trade back to it uh, with some strength on the US dollar moving into the latter half of this year. Now, don't forget, Janet Yellen is speaking on Thursday this week at a House panel testimony on the economy. So that's really going to be really important. But there's no major economic news until Wednesday with US durable goods and consumer confidence. So markets are probably going to be trading technically and on the back of anything on the stock market or oil, which was down heavily Friday. Pound against the yen. Look at this. Low, low, low. This is on the daily chart. We are well below the 200 and the 50 EMA here, the yellow line being the 50, 
Coming to our four hour chart, what's it showing us? Well, it's showing us just it's simply a strong stair stepping move to the downside here on the pound against the yen. We've got the 50 now under the 200. This has got to be wave number three here with a wave one, wave two down for wave three, looking for a move back up for four and then hitting the 200 EMA and a pushback lower for five. So that's where we are on the pound against the yen. If you're looking to take a short on the pound against the yen, perhaps wait until we get a break below these lows right now. If we don't get a move up high, if we continue lower, as soon as we see consecutive daily closes under these lows here, I would suspect further momentum to the downside is in play. But if the market moves back up here, then looking for on the four hour chart, a move back up to the 200, some resistance, some weakness, and then a move back down lower. So that's the pound against the yen. Now, another currency pair I want to have a look at here because Tony Sycamore from CBA thought the next move on the US dollar against the Canadian dollar is to the downside. And that's exactly what I'm looking at here from a wave count perspective with this wave number three, back up here for wave number four to the 200, getting some resistance there. And look here, the market's trading between the 50 and the 200 right now. So if you're looking to short the US dollar against the Canadian dollar and take a leaf out of Tony's book, make sure you watch that interview. Under here, under the 50 here, consecutive daily closes, something like this here, is likely going to see us head back towards these lows here. And we would see that happening also with a strengthening oil price. And we saw oil on Friday dip down lower by about 4% underneath and closed under the 50. But you can see here the upward move is still in play because this is what a move up for wave three, back for wave four to the 200 EMA that we see so many times. The market comes back here for wave four and this move up here can still be wave number five heading back higher towards $50. Even though we saw that oil price lower and that was just on the back of the Saudis and Iranians not likely to get together and freeze oil production. So US dollar against the Canadian dollar at this stage, our hot tip is to the downside rather than the upside. Finally, today we're going to have a look at the pound against. Sorry, we're going to have to look at the euro against the um, the pound. And right now we're just flirting with new highs here, and these would be new 2016 highs. And what normally happens when we see new highs broken? We see the market push even higher. So right now we've got a very strong upward trend throughout 2016. If we use our Fibonacci expansion here come in here, what we're going to find is this market has come and hit the 100% expansion level. So the distance from here to here is the same as from here to here. So if you're going to long the euro against the pound and look to get a really nice move to the upside, then I'd be wanting to see daily closes above this 100% expansion level. Then we could be heading up to the 161.8, which is a really nice big move up higher. Looking in on the four hour chart, let's have a look here. Again, on the four hour chart, we've got to assume that we are in wave number four right now. We're above the 200, 50 is above the 200. We've got a big oscillator high. Wave one, back, was it back 61.8%? Probably not, but we've bounced off here and moved higher. So we have to assume that this is wave three at this stage. But here's this 100% level. You've got to be very wary of that. If you're long on the euro against the sterling, be aware of that high. Maybe take some profit. If we get a break above, then look to reestablish your long position from there. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that technical update for today. Make sure you click on the link and watch Money Exchange on Friday's episode, where we inter also interviewed Thanos Papasavas from Equant Analytics in London. He tips Donald Trump to win the US presidential election, but what he also tips is for the US dollar to weaken if he wins the debate today. See you tomorrow for the next Go Daily Fix.